Um, welcome to the first International Electronics Recycling Conference and Expo. In China. Uh, you wouldn't be exporting in violation of other countries' laws. Those are the fundamental principle of R2. But really late in the game, we had to um, walk consumers out. Consumers behave, we know how the refurbisher behaves, we know how recyclers behave. So now we are looking at uh, issues of the overall 100, network. 200, Fortune 500 companies and managers of cities across America all of a sudden, with that as a background, they developed local laws 13 and 21. And in April and May of two, if you process material in precious metal, you better have a, an assaying capability. So you really to the company, the recycling of refrigerators. In the same time, we had legislation in Holland. Concept at the design phase of the product. And that's all I have. Thank you. I spoke to this. Well, it's just nice to be here, and thank you, Ishmael. You do represent the future of our industry, young, with lots of energy and lots of vision, and just thank you for honoring us and inviting us to this. It's just uh, humbling and, uh, an on, and a great experience to be on the same ticket with uh, Alfred, who is a legend in the industry and has a great brand and has done great work, and Recellular, the number one uh, telephone, uh, cell phone recycling company, and the Basel Action Network, which has been a great company and a great nonprofit that has been the, the leading watchdog agency for us. So uh, today's just a humbling experience, and thank you. And Ishmael, my hat's off to you. You made a great event, and I'm sure next year we'll just be bigger and better. And uh, we look forward to participating. And uh, it's just great to be here with Alfred and uh, Recellular and Basel Action. Take care. Server. They do not do have a high, uh, IT guy on site. All they need to do is get a username and password. Companies in 63 countries across the world, and we provide the form for them or a trading platform, uh, a network for them to buy, sell, and so trade. So, you're based for ATN. I'm the director for the Americas for ATN. And uh, what's your what's your main objective? What do you want to do? What do you want to actually? Accomplish? Well, our main objective is actually uh, bring our product to America and show the European way of recycling. Having your guests at the booths. Uh, and uh, we've learned a lot, Thank you, sir. Uh, so it's been great. Go ahead. Yeah. IT Renew, uh, it's an electronic recycling company. We started in uh, 2000, we've been around for nine years. Uh, we deal mostly with uh, corporations and dealing with their end-of-life equipment, their scrap. Uh, we are representing the new R2 certification program that was developed in conjunction with the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, mm -hmm. to help people in the electronics waste recycling industry to be certified and be recognized as a green company and adhering to the standards developed by the EPA. Yeah, we can know how this business can get really wild. So I'm That's glad right. we have some standards yes. and I'm glad someone's there to make sure we're following the standards. Absolutely. We, this is our first time in this industry and the standards were just developed a few months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Perry Johnson is recognized as an international global uh, certifier and registrar of ISO standards, International Standards Organization. And I have to tell you that for the first time, we understand where uh, the industry is really very anxious and eager to uh, ad adhere to international standards and they're coming to us. So it's really gratifying. Well, that's good. And did you make any money contacts today? You know what? We did. Not yesterday and today. The show's just closing down now. and. Uh, it was the first time where I really felt in any trade show, and I have a few years of trade shows, where there was really an extraordinary demand for the services that we're offering. So Yeah, because sometimes you go to a show and there's just a lot of people, but they're all looky-lookers, right? right? Or they have what I call show fever, but these guys are for real. That's